hey guys welcome back to another video in the series of devops project and in today's video we are going to talk about more on the document documentation part of jenkins and then we'll take a quick demo uh, how to write a sample pipeline okay so these are the two three things that we're going to discuss today before moving further in this video i would like to request that if you're new over here and have not subscribed my channel yet kindly do so because that motivates me to create more videos okay so without further ado let's get started so uh, the first thing that you can see this is an official website jenkinsio.doc and this is the jenkins user documentation so everything that jenkins has to do with your build and release you can study over here okay and we talk about plugins as well blue ocean and one of the greatest uh, one one of the best plugins that i like uh, which improves the quality uh, which improves the uh, visuals of the uh, of the build that you can say now in this you can it is explaining you that what exactly is jenkins it's a self-contained open source automation server which can be used to automate all sort of tasks related to building testing and delivering or deploying the software okay i'm not going to read whole of it because i don't want this video to be uh, huge because i hope you already know how jenkins works so you can skip this part about this documentation there's a lot of stuff over here you can go over there and then if you want to study about the pipeline just right click over here and then you can study about it like what exactly is pipeline so it contains a lot of things using a jenkins file running pipelines branches and pull requests a lot of stuff okay i'm not going to go through all so this is a pipeline this chapter covers all recommended aspects of jenkins pipeline functionality including how to get started with pipeline create user or a jenkins file use docker or a pipeline extend pipeline and all of that stuff so you can understand what exactly is the Jen jenkins pipeline is a suite of plugins which supports implementing and integrating continuous delivery pipelines into Jenkins. Okay, so yes, you can go through it. So you need to know that how to create a Jenkins file. So Jenkins file is kind of a file which your Jenkins job or your Jenkins pipeline reads and executes the step. Okay, so it is divided into two types. One is declarative and other one is scripted. So we're going to discuss about only de declarative today because uh, we in the future videos, we might be discussing about the scripted part. Okay, so Fundamentally differently they are uh, created declarative pipelines is more recent feature of a Jenkins pipeline which provides richer syntactical features over scripted pipelines is designed to make writing and reading pipeline code easier. Okay, via pipeline you can go through it. Okay, we'll go to another thing uh, over here that how does a flowchart looks when there is a CD scenario in a Jenkins pipeline. So you can go through this and pipeline concept what exactly is a pipeline, what is a node, what is a state, step, pipeline syntax. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll try to create a declarative pipeline as an example. What we'll do, we'll just copy this code and we're going to fix that. Okay. So before uh, writing this, I would like to explain that pipeline, it will always start from the word pipeline. After that, it will use agent any. Agent any means we don't care whether we, we want to use master or the agent or the slave node. It can pick up any. It's not compulsory to write, but it's good to write. And then we have multiple stages uh, inside something known as stages, one stage, two stage, and the third stage. You can have any number of build steps in that, like build, test, deploy, any number of that. There's no constraint on that. And these are the six things uh, that you need to understand. Execute this pipeline or any of these stages or any available agents. It's the number, so it is explaining that. Two is defines the build stage, three is the steps, and so on and so forth. In the scripted pipeline fundamentals, this is the file. We are going to discuss it about it later. It just, it starts from node and then it has stage, a little bit of different syntax. Okay, you can go through this. So this says, uh, here's an example of Jenkins file using a declarative pipeline. So if you want to copy that, I think you can copy this one. Okay, so this is a better one. Uh, let's copy that. Okay, so this is a better one. I'll copy this. Now go to your favorite browser and then open Jenkins over there. Click on new item go for pipeline and then type sample pipeline over here. Okay, that's all. Do not select freestyle project, only select pipeline. Okay, and click on okay button and type anything over here. I'll just type sample pipeline. It's not compulsory, but it's good to write. Nothing else you have to do. Now there are two options to this pipeline script, which you have to type and pipeline script from SCM. When you type SCM, SCM is source code management. For example, you have to give the script path. So if there is a SCM, then you have to just give things over here and then it, you have to connect it and then it is uh, it, it will happen. We'll do that as well. Uh, we'll talk about more about about this. So I don't want to do that. So what I just want to do, I'll just go over here. Pipeline script. 
now if you want to see there are an examples of it so if you want to try a sample pipeline it will click over here hello world you can see that again there are stages and only one stage so that it can just show you that whether uh, how our steps look like okay it is starting from pipeline agent and stages there is another example for script uh, for github plus maven so these are the stages and then the first stage is git it is trying to pick the file from some place and it's trying to get the code and then it is building that code by clean package these are the uh, uh, commands for maven mvn and then after that post it is trying to pick an artifact it's trying to uh, run JUnit. these are the things and then it's an example of a stage pipeline you can drag it uh, to make it a bit longer it's better to see so stages over there as well def mv and hone state state and state we are not going to do that we are just try the sample pipeline okay so just uh, delete everything over here and paste that whatever you copied okay you do not need options as of now so you can just remove this i think and make sure the indentation is good okay so what we are doing over here is we are building something okay and sh is the command that we are going to uh, just echo echo the command you can just echo the command and then after that sh is used for shell uh, because we are using linux environment so shell otherwise if there is a windows environment you can use batch file bat and others then there is st uh, it is trying to run something i'm not i'm not running any xml file so i'll just remove this and it says sh make publish okay so that's what it's trying to do so let's test this whether it works or not and if it doesn't why not how to debug okay so i'll just apply and save all you have to do is you can see uh, there is a pipeline sample pipeline over here i'll just build now and let's see what happens it will start building itself and let's see what happens and you can see there are three stages now build test and deploy okay so uh, it ha if you want to see the logs you can see from here as well but if you want to see what is happening you can click over here you can see these are the things uh, this is trying to process and it is trying to make something but it cannot make because we have not given anything and you can go to console output to see this is the thing okay now in order to fix this you have to go back over here and then you have to configure again this is how you debug things how you see what what went wrong over here you don't have to write anything so all you can do is uh, you can echo something uh, so for example uh, let me uh, try something out so i'll just type i'll just remove all these steps i'll just echo something echo deploy let's see if this works echo deploy here i'll put echo test and here i'll put echo build okay let's see if this works i'll just apply and save the program and then just build now let's see if this works or we have done something wrong and you can see that all the three things all the three stages are now perfectly all right if you go over here inside and you can see that it has been started by logic ops lab which is my name and console output if you'll go you can see that it has echo something it has to echo something okay you can just hide and show if you want to see the whole pipeline so this is a very basic idea of how of how to run a pipeline so uh, this is i think you guys have understood in the uh, forthcoming videos in the new videos what we'll do is we'll try to pick the pipeline from scm we'll try to run them and see what happens okay and do not forget to uh, go through that documentation if you want otherwise uh, i have whole my channel in which i have uh, this whole course uh, i have given for jenkins and you will be able to understand everything all right so guys uh, feel free to comment your uh, queries feel free to comment your opinions in the comment section and we would like to address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one